Do you want to learn how to do this? Yes, you just need to stay there and follow this class. We'll use Python and OpenCV to measure our first temperature from a thermal image, video or camera. This is part two of this infrared vision basic course and I would really like to encourage you to follow the previous class. There we have understood the infrared images and the technology behind them, distinguishing between near infrared images and middle, far or thermal images. In today's class we are going to work with thermal images. I have divided the class into four easy steps or parts to follow. 1. Understanding the difference between grade 8 and grade 16 images. 2. Measuring your first temperature for a thermal image. 3. Measuring temperature for a thermal video. And 4. Measuring temperature for a thermal camera. Let's go! 1. Understanding the difference between grade 8 and grade 16 images. And why should we do that? Well, because we are going to use these formats to work with thermal images. And how? Well, very easy. You just need to know that this is an RGB image with three channels, red, green, and blue. What it means, this image is a matrix of pixel values between zero and 255 per channel. And we can codify each channel using eight bits or one byte what it means 256 values. As thermal images are commonly represented in grayscale format, as we can see here, we just need one channel or matrix to represent the pixel values between black or zero and white or 255. Beautiful. This is very entertaining, but please Raul, teach me how to measure a temperature from a thermal image once and for all. Okay, we have a deal. But you need to learn one more thing. If we want to measure the temperature, we need a special information that we can find in the pixel intensity value of a common RGB image or a grade 8 thermal image. We need a grade 16 thermal image to codify the temperature values. So we have 16 bits, 0 to 65,535 values to codify the information. And each pixel value has the temperature of each point of our capture scene. This is the previous grade 8 thermal image. And this is the grade 16 thermal image where it comes from. Let's start coding. Open your favorite Python IDE. In my case, PyCharm. We need our Python file grade 8 versus grade 16.py and our grade 16 thermal image in TIFF format. First of all, we just need to import these two libraries. First one is NumPy and the second one OpenCV. Then we'll open the RAID 16 thermal image as we can see here and it's important this flag. This flag prevent the RGB conversion. So we are opening the RAID 16 thermal image in RAW format. Then we convert the RAID 16 image into a RAID 8 image as we can see here. Color the grade 8 image, as you can see here, using your favorite OpenCV color map. Finally, we just need to show the result. Let's run the code. Boom! And here we go. As you can see, we have opened our grade 16 image with our lighter, and then we have converted into a grade 8 image, and then we have used our favorite color maps or palettes. It's important to point out that the inferno one is very common in thermal images. Number two, measuring your first temperature from a thermal image. Now we are ready. Let's go. We are going to measure the temperature of a pixel value. For this, first of all, we need to import our libraries, NumPy and OpenCV. Then we need to open again our gray system thermal image, and then we define the pixel coordinates. Of course, you can select other pixel values. And now we can calculate our temperature. In my case, as I'm using the RGM Vision Thermal Cam 1, I'm going to use this formula to convert from Kelvin to Celsius. Or if you want to work with Fahrenheit, you need to use this other formula. You can visit rgmvision.com for more information about this awesome camera. Finally, we just need to show the results. First of all, 
we are going to convert our grade 16 image into a grade 8 image as you can see here then we are going to write our pointer to show where is our pixel and here we are writing the temperature and finally we show the result let's run the code boom as you can see we have measured the temperature of this pixel value we are displaying the temperature value in Fahrenheit in both cases in the grade 16 and the grade 8 image as you can see we have selected this point of my hand then we will learn how to change this point and select for example a hotter point or pixel in the flame voila very easy as you have learned let's move on to the next part of this class three measuring temperature for a thermal video okay 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 now that we have learned how to measure a temperature for a thermal image it's very easy to do the same with a thermal video and a thermal camera in real time let's go okay we need these three files the first one is our python file named measure video temperature.py then we need our gray system thermal image and finally we need this other folder the gray 16 sequence why because it's difficult to work with gray 16 videos that's why we are going to use or we are going to simulate a video with several frames as we can see in this folder with all these gray 16 images again first of all we need to import our libraries and again we need to use numpy and opencv but in this case we will use also uh, this other one os and argument parse to select our video sequence with these three lines as we can see here we are going to select our video sequence path and how if you are working with PyCharm you have to go here and edit configurations and then here you can see the parameters and our argument is video and then we select the path in my case C by image search and gray 16 sequence after that we are going to create a mouse pointer to select dynamically and in real time the pixel value of each frame of our video sequence that's why here we create and initialize the x and y coordinates of our pointer then we create this variable to control and indicate our frame rate in my case as i'm using the rgm vision thermal cam one our frame rate is 8 fps this means that i'm going to show our video sequence with this speed with this function we are going to control the mouse events and then we set up the mouse events and now we are going to loop over the thermal video frames how well we are going to use this for loop and we are going to open only the gray 16 images how using this if sentence looking for our gray 16 formats here we open its frame or image and here we use the uh, opencv function to open its frame and then again we calculate the temperature here and if we want to work with celsius we have this formula and if we want to work with Fahrenheit, we can use this other formula then we convert the gray 16 frame into a grade 8 frame to then show the results here as we have learned previously we are using our inferno palette or color map and then we write the pointer the temperature and finally we saw the the frame and here as i told you previously we have to wait 125 milliseconds why because we want this uh, frame rate of fps and that's all let's run the code here we go well, you can see the pointer and the temperature and the flame my hand uh, in the background Again, please. <laughs> Four, measuring temperature from a thermal camera. Finally, we have arrived to the best part of this class. We are ready to measure in real time the temperature using a real thermal camera. In my case, I'm going to use this RGM Vision thermal cam one. Let's go. In this case, we just need our Python file as you can see here, measure camera video temperature.py and of course our thermal camera. We are going to follow the same steps as we have seen with our thermal image and our thermal video. First of all, 
we are going to import our OpenCV library and NumPy library. Then we are going to create our mouse pointer coordinates, as we can see here. And we define our mouse events with this function. And here comes the tricky part. We are going to set up our thermal camera. We are going to use the video capture function, as you can see here, indicating the camera index. In my case, the number one. Very important, if you are on Windows, you have to use this flag to indicate the backend video library. In my case, direct show. But if you are on other operating system, you can forget about this part. You just need the camera index. On these two lines, we set up the thermal camera resolution. In my case, as I'm using the RGM Vision Thermal Cam 1, 160 by 120. Very important, here with these two lines, we set up our thermal camera as a gray system source. With this first line, we set up the gray system stream. And then, as we have seen previously, with this second line, we prevent the RGB conversion because we want the raw gray system data. Finally, to finish our setup, first of all, here we initialize our thermal camera. Then we set up our window to show the results. And finally, we create or indicate the mouse events. Now we create a while true loop to get all the gray system thermal frames from our thermal camera. As we can see here, we are reading all these frames. Then we get all the temperature values from our mouse pointer, as you can see here on this line. And then we calculate the temperature. To show the results, we convert our gray system frames into grade 8 images, as you can see here and as we have learned in the previous section. Then we use our favorite color palette, in my case, the Color Map Inferno from OpenCV. Then we write the pointer, we write the temperature in Fahrenheit in this case, and finally we show the results. Let's run the code! Wait Raul, first of all, of course, plug your thermal camera into your computer or Raspberry Pi. And now, just please run the code. Boom, here we go. As you can see, we are measuring the temperature in real time and dynamically using our mouse pointer. I'm going to drink some water. Great. That's all, very easy. In today's class, to summarize, we have learned four important things. First of all, understand the gray 8 and gray 16 thermal images. Then, we have learned to measure your first temperature using a thermal camera. Then, we have measured dynamically the temperature in a video sequence. And finally, we have measured in real time the temperature using a thermal camera. Please. If you think this has been useful, subscribe to this channel for more content and share this video with other people who might find this interesting. Thank you so much. In the next class, you will learn how to implement in real time a fever detector using your thermal camera and your PC or your Raspberry Pi. And that's all. Thank you very much for being here and see you in the next videos. Bye.